you learn something by failing and that's good. So in the end, can you call it failing? You never fail. You fail when you don't try. You fail when you, when you give up. That's failing. When you say, okay, it didn't work out, I stop. If you stop, you fail. Just Hey, it's Kanak. I wanted to talk a little bit about my album, Mental Junkyard. A little bit behind the scenes, uh, behind the single songs, the lyric, um, what it means, how I recorded it all and whatever the hell I did, whatever the hell I thought about behind the scenes of the songs that you can hear today. Let's get started. The lyrical meaning, lyrical meaning of Outlive the Bruises. When I sing Placing dreams before me. What I mean by that is something that I often do when talking about things of passion or things I love very dearly. What I do is I, I talk about those things in a very high enthusiastic manner, very hyped up and I, I'm getting it, we're doing it, I love it. Anyways, that's what I do and I place these dreams that I have before me like as if they are more important than my own well-being because I care so much for those dreams and I live for those dreams mostly. Well, it goes hand in hand, my dreams are my well-being in the end but, but that's just the feeling I have when I talk about it and sing about it. And, I, and afterwards, after the uh, placing dreams before me, I talk about um, as if they are easy to obtain. And with that, what I wanted to say is um, I'm placing those hard to reach dreams because I have those type of dreams that they're all easy to reach. Um, and I place them before me because they're so important to me and I talk so enthusiastically about them because, well, as if they are easy to, to obtain. Well, everybody around me sees me talking about my dreams and the things that I want to reach and achieve and, and, and they get affected by it a little bit and the next time I come around and I have more to talk about because I reached single steps, milestones to get to my dream and it seems as if they are easy to obtain those dreams. For others it often seems like I'm just I'm breathing this music thing and I'm breathing everything and, and everything that I, I achieved nowadays um, was easy for me like but it wasn't it never was I just talk about them as if they are easy to obtain and that's how I live my life I live live my life as if those dreams and, and, and things I want to accomplish in my life as if they are reachable and if they are as if they are easy to get because I I put such a high importance on those things that I reach those things in the end because I never give up I just do and I, and I keep saying to myself you can do it and, and just by doing that it seems for everybody and myself that it's sometimes very easy to reach those dreams um, you just need to start that's all you need to to get to that mindset, just start things and if you really are serious about it, you should put that in front. After that part, I'm talking about keeping me striving day after day. That explains itself, kind of. That what I do right there is, it keeps me alive, keeps me breathing, keeps me going. Like, it's fire, it's, it's, it's constantly pushing, pushing myself. On, on, I want to go to the next milestone, to the next milestone. Like, see, it gets addicting because you know, oh my god, you can change more in this world than you thought. You can change more about your own world than you ever thought. And with milestones, not even reaching your initial dream, but with milestones to that dream, and you, you, you kind of see how things get shaped. At the end, I'm, I'm saying, hoping my work is not in vain. That was a mindset or a time of uncertainty that I had um, about the dreams I had, about uh, the whole music thing, because it was so hard on my soul, so hard on my emotions. 
and I was always thinking, well not always, but there was a time when I wrote that song and I, I wasn't sure if this is the right road to take, the right way to go. I was just hoping that this way in life that I go, with all the time I'm committing to this, that this work that I'm putting in dream, in this life that I'm doing, that I'm living, that it's not in vain, that it's not for nothing. But nowadays, like right now, I know it's never for nothing because everything you do, even if it doesn't, does not give you anything, you, you still get further because this needed to happen for your life to be like it is right now. Do you want your life to be at this place where it is right now? And then, then you question yourself and think about if this is, is this the right path that I'm taking? And there is no failure, there is no losing, there is no... no you can't lose by, by choosing a direction or doing something because whatever you do, you, you go further, you go forward. Even if it's a dead end. There's some things you take away from it that, that has a positive effect on you and it shapes you and you need to fail to get somewhere. Everybody fails, that's the most normal thing ever and, and you learn something by failing and that's good. So in the end, can you call it failing? You never fail, you fail when you don't try, you fail when you, when you give up. That's failing, when you say, okay, it didn't work out, I stop. If you stop, you fail. Just, well, yeah, that's the thought process there. I wasn't sure, um, now I'm sure. Nowadays, like right now, I'm very sure of what I'm doing and, and this is right. For me, this is right. Yeah, that's the lyrical meaning. It was recorded all using my guitar. I used this one, the PRS, that, that's been around me forever for forever. Um, I recorded my first record with that guitar and there's not much to it. I was using an open tuning with thick ass strings. I'm still down to, to about an octave below and sometimes I mix up the tunings um, to some unofficial open tuning that I um, used on my acoustic guitar and then that inspired me to retune my my baritone guitar just to get some new new type of sound and some 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 new type of feel and mostly when i retune my guitar to some open tuning or to some experimental tuning i i simply use it for one song probably or two songs and then i change it up that tuning actually is on, on Outlive the Bruises, I Wish I Still Knew You and Meet with Triumphant Disaster. Writing Outlive the Bruises was kind of interesting. I don't try to force myself into a mindset, into a feeling, into something specific. I grab my guitar mostly. I jam something out, get the base of an idea. But the lyrics came at the end. I was closing myself in thinking about what do you want to talk about, what, what do you feel right now and what does the sound of the song give you.